Two years ago, flames destroyed the restaurant plate in East Brookside, but now it's just days from reopening. The owners gave 41 Action News anchor Lindsay Shively a sneak peek at their restaurant they say is rising from the ashes. They're calling this plate 2.0. We are days away from the grand reopening, just a few blocks down 63rd Street from where fire destroyed the original plate in April of 2017. And just last fall, look how different this room looked. They're just getting started with the transformation. Now they can fit about three times as many people in this dining room than their original restaurant, thanks to all of these huge booths and this big bar they have in the middle of the room. And the screens over the bar sometimes display images of fire, they say because they are embracing the story of what has happened to plate to now. They cannot wait, they say, to serve that very first customer. Oh, it's going to be incredible. Yeah. Um... I'm curious who it's going to be. Two years ago, I didn't think I'd be sitting at my own bar in a 200 seat restaurant. I didn't think that would happen. So, um, you know, you do you go through a lot of different emotions and you'll recognize this from the first restaurant. This is actually the sign that hung over the door and survived the fire. So they brought it here and they put it up on the wall as a reminder of how far they've come over the last two years. So when is that official opening date? They say they really are just waiting on a few final things like some paperwork and then they will announce that on their social media channels so they say that's the place to check. Lindsay Shifley, 41 Action News. I cannot wait and we now know who bought the building where Plate used to be. The new owners also own Minsky's, etc. and Osteria El Centro but they tell us they do not have plans for a restaurant in the new space. They do say they're talking to potential tenants but are focused on getting the building in good condition first and they want to be part of the revival of the East Brookside Corridor.